Hi, my name is Deborah R. Richardson of Deborah R. Richardson LLC, and I work with you to help you clean up your vendor data, clean up your vendor processes so that you can pay the right vendor. Now, this week's Vendor Master File tip of the week is to get updates on new NACHA operating rules in your inbox. And I'm going to do a quick demo uh, because it is very quick. Um, but first, I did want to just share with you in case you don't know who NACHA is and what they do. So I'm going to drag over their website. Uh, and as you can see, it is uh, NACHA.org. And NACHA is the uh, they govern the ACH network that handles all of our direct payments, um, direct deposits, so all payroll, all ACH payments that go uh, to your vendors, to all U.S. banks and credit unions. And they have operating rules, and some of those operating rules affect the vendor master uh, or the vendor uh, master file the vendor maintenance team and what they do. So I want to just show you how to get to those. And then that also is the same page that you will sign up for uh, alerts to be sent to your email. So on here, you're going to go to ACH and you're going to go to new rules. And what that's going to do is it it's going to take you to the operating rules. And as you can see, it's really good information because it shows the operating rules and when they go into effect. And so some of these are, again, very relevant. I want to take you back to the what I'm showing here, the micro entry rules. There was a phase one uh, and then a phase two, and it shows the effective dates. So phase one is that you had to have account verify in all caps in the description when you sent uh, your micro entry in the uh, file to the bank. And a micro entry uh, is right just that penny test. So if you do penny tests, you do micro entries, whatever your system calls it, uh, you have to have account verify in that file that is generated that goes to the bank. Now the second part of that rule was that you have to have a way that you can identify if there's fraudulent activity just based on the volume and the regular amount of fraud that you may see. So this can be very important. And so there are some rules that are coming up uh, that may help you. And you want to make sure that you get that information. So you, I do recommend you bookmark this page, but then also you can sign up to receive rules, news, and risk management tools via email. Who wouldn't want that? So go ahead and enter your information in, and then you can sign up very quickly. Now, one of the rules that is upcoming, and I'm going to take this away for uh, October 20. Uh, October 1st, 2024, is uh, has to do with uh, being able to return uh, suspected fraudulent uh, payments, and it has a specific reason code. So that's one. There's another one as well. So this is going, this podcast is going to come up in your feed, uh, or it's going to come up right after this uh, video at the end of this video, and you can check it out there or you can check it out wherever you listen to podcasts. All right, so if you like more information on how to improve your vendor process, please go to my website at DebraRRichardson.com, and that will help you get resources to avoid tools, or to avoid fraud, regulatory fines, and just overall bad vendor data. Now, if you'd like uh, quite a few hours of annual training just on the fraud process, I used to say 115, but I've added and continue to add through the end of the year AI and uh, RPA videos. And so it's probably up to 163 hours now. Lots of training just on vendor process topics. So uh, make sure if you're interested in that, you check out uh, my vendor process training center at training.deborahrrichardson.com. So good luck and be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified next Tuesday for the next Vendor Master File Tip of the Week.